as someone who is living with or beyond cancer or supporting a loved one through cancer, do you find yourself stressed, afraid, directionless or even completely lost? Hi, Parul Banka here, coach, speaker, author of the book, My Cancer Journey, A Rendezvous with Myself and A Cancer Thriver. After the word cancer has been dropped in your life, do you find yourself wishing, if only I knew how to pick up the pieces together and put them back, I would be able to move on and live my life to the best of my ability. Maybe in your current life, after experiencing cancer, you want to really pick up the work that truly energizes you. You want to step away from the drudgery, the routine that doesn't inspire you because cancer has taught you, if not now, then when. But you feel afraid to take that first step and bring in more change when there is already so much going on in your life. Maybe you want to work on relationship with your family, loved ones, your friends because you feel so broken because some of them had no time for you when you were going through cancer. Maybe you want to learn how to accept what has happened to you and take complete accountability for your new body and your new life. But you feel overwhelmed and have no idea where to begin. If any of these things resonate with you, I would love to help you. I would love to help you with the stress because in the world of cancer, stress exists all the time. I would love to help you with managing your fears. And when I talk about managing stress and fear, a lot of it stems from the uncertainty that cancer brings. Something happens, it's time for your regular checkups, even if you have been well, and you are faced with this question, what if? Or depending on the prognosis, you may find yourself thinking, what is the point anyways? And it is this uncertainty which tends to bring a lot of stress and fear into the lives of people who have been touched by cancer whether for themselves or when they are supporting someone else who is going through cancer. I would love to help you understand your stress and fear triggers and teach you how to actually manage them and uh, live your life to the best of your ability with joy, with inspiration, because that's what really matters. When something drastic like cancer happens, it not just impacts our body, it impacts our entire ecosystem. It impacts our body, it impacts our conscious mind, it impacts our subconscious mind, it impacts our social relationships. It poses lots of questions on bigger things like even our spirituality. So it's the entire ecosystem that gets impacted. And often because of so many changes happening in all the dimensions, people who have been touched by cancer feel broken, they feel lost, they have no idea what's going on, too many changes happening at the same time. I want to help you manage these changes on all the five levels. I want to help you heal your entire ecosystem. And when I use the word heal, it's in a very coaching way. I'm not talking about the clinical aspect of cancer here. So that's the bit I want to clarify. I want to help you move forward after cancer. Often when somebody goes through cancer, they feel stuck in their life because of all these things that we have talked about. Too many changes, not knowing where they want to go, not having the courage because a lot of people felt let down by their own bodies. They don't really know what they can trust, who they can trust, and uh, a lot of people lose confidence. And so they really struggle in building a life after cancer. And that's the bit I want to help you with. Help you set goals that will make you happy, that will be meaningful to you, and help you achieve them. 
So I want to help you deal with the stress, the fear. I want to help you rebuild your entire ecosystem. And I want to literally help you get unstuck and move forward after a cancer experience. The objective of my coaching, Rebuild Your Life After Cancer, is to enable you to live the rest of your life, whatever that means, whether it is a few weeks, whether it is a few years, or whether it is 50 or 100 years, to the best of your ability, irrespective of the prognosis. So we are looking at helping you regain some control back on the life. Often cancer makes you feel that you have no control on your life because so many changes are happening all at once and it's just too much to deal with. So helping you live the rest of your life irrespective of the prognosis with quality, joyfully, And yeah, really to the best of your ability, that's what my goal is. It's a proven program, it, it works. I have gone through that program. I have helped other people go through this program. It is so important to get the support when you feel stuck and directionless and lost in the world of cancer because trust me, cancer is not just a bump in the road. No, it's not. It's actually a fork in the road. It's a huge thing that has happened and it's often a time to relook, reevaluate about whatever life we have lived and make different decisions to how we want to live the rest of the life. And uh, that's the transition I want to help you make in a way that's going to be meaningful and choice to you. So. The decision that I am posing before you is whether you want to participate or not participate in living an empowered life. It's about you choosing whether you want to be an active participant in rebuilding your life after cancer or not. And that's the decision I would like you to take. If your decision is yes, I would love to help you. In that case, press the button below and book your free discovery call with me. Let's talk this through. Let's, let's evaluate. Let's explore what your needs are. And if I'm the best person to help you get where you want to get, I would love to share this journey with you. Press the button below and book your free discovery call with me. I will see you there. Bye.